guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to do just a little bit of a life update and just to chat with you about what's been going on with me lately. Um, some of you will know that I just got married. I got married at the end of June and so I'll talk a little bit about my wedding and what happened. I also want to go through my makeup storage and um, this is my uh, dresser here so I want to go through that and see if there's anything that I want to declutter or and I want to uh, organise it all again because it's got really really messy so I'm going to go through that with you as well because I've definitely got to that stage with my makeup now where I'm definitely becoming more brutal and ruthless with things that I want to keep and things I don't want to keep I know what I gravitate towards and I've de decluttered so much of my makeup in the last year um, that I'm now getting down to the point where I'm at that stage now with it that I really like most of the things that I have um, so it's just a case of um, really narrowing it down to just the absolute things that I just couldn't, that I love and I didn't, don't want to be without and there are still a few little things clinging on that I know I could pass on even though I really like them still um, but I just want to have a bit more of a minimal makeup collection now. But yeah, I'm officially a married woman. We got married, so in the UK at the moment, there are, he, um, Boris Johnson like announced a lift of restrictions in terms of the amount of people you could have at your wedding. However, there were still restrictions in place. So we had to adjust our day um, quite, quite dramatically within one week of the announcement because uh, Boris announced his um, plan and then our wedding day was one week later so we obviously had a lot pinning on his announcement. Sorry the camera died and I went and charged the battery and I'll put my hair up and look different but um, what was I saying? I was saying about the restrictions on the wedding. So we had to have our um, canapes and everything, our sort of like reception after the ceremony. It had to be seated rather than like everyone standing and mingling together. So that was a little bit different, it had to be table service because obviously um, we were eating. And we had, the people had to wear face masks during the ceremony and when we were dancing um, at the, like in the evening reception, everyone had to be wearing a, a mask which wasn't ideal um, but it was still the most amazing day ever and people just we didn't even really notice the sort of restrictions to be honest when it all came down to it it was very much just like a kind of normal wedding day a lot of it was outside so that did help and we're both just really happy that after like three years of planning um, we you know everything came together in the end and we're so glad we didn't wait any longer like postpone it any longer um because none of us like sort of knew how long this would be going on for and we could have postponed till the end of the year or something and then another variant could come out and postpone it all again so there's only so long you can put your life on hold for at the end of the day and it was perfect i wouldn't change it although it was quite frustrating to hear today that like the next lot of weddings in July can go ahead without masks and everything which is really annoying obviously but we completely made the best of the day but yeah I will move on to decluttering my makeup now Hi. so the first thing that I want to declutter is out of this Z, Z palette and it is one of the blushes in here and that's because I have three in here that are all basically the same kind of colour So this one is, I think it's Spellbound by Makeup Geek. This one is a Tarte um, Amazonian clay blusher that I kind of depotted out of one of their like limited edition sets. Um, and this one is Tarte's Prism, which is one of my favourite blushes ever. So I've got to keep this one. But it was out of these two and I don't need both. And I swatched both of them and I think I'm going to let this Tarte one go. Uh, I will pass that on to someone. Oh, I will pass this on to someone else. But it's a really lovely kind of like nudie pink blush. And then 
in terms of what's in my drawers and speaking of Z palettes or Z palettes I'm going to declutter this I've emptied it out it's just a little three single eyeshadow palette um, because I have this one which is basically my ideal palette size and that that one holds nine and the thing is with the three ones is I'm always going to be missing a shade that I need because it's just not big enough um, so if I'm traveling I always take this one so this one's kind of redundant so I'm going to pass this one on as well then I'm just going to have a look around in here and see if there's anything else I want to get rid of I know that I want to declutter this highlighter palette this one is from Ofra and it's the Feeling Myself palette and I used up the shade Rodeo Drive which was this one here it was like a light gold colour and it was beautiful probably one of my favourite highlighters um, I've ever used and then I have these two here um, the middle one's Pillow Talk and this one's Blissful this one's too dark and this one's too light and while I can make them work by mixing them together I have so many highlights that this can just go to a better home I'm seriously considering decluttering this hourglass highlight um, there's literally nothing wrong with it um, it's brilliant strobe light one of their ambient highlighters it's very sheer formula very light in colour and it was so so expensive which is why I'm not sure on this one this is definitely a maybe from me I would love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments if you've ever sort of let go of really really expensive items let me know your thoughts on it um, I'll probably keep hold of it for now but I don't tend to reach for it it's definitely not my favourite and do I really want to be holding on to things that aren't my favourite um, we'll see on this one I'm going to declutter this um, MAC sample size of the Natural Radiance Primer I've just recently finished up a huge um, bottle of this and it took ages so I know how long these last and I've got already got a full size strobe cream and a sample size strobe cream as well as my um, by Terry Cellular Rose Serum which is quite a glowy primary type base as well so I definitely don't need this and I think someone will get use out of this much more than I will but it's such a nice product I love it I'm gonna quickly get my lipstick and lip glosses have a look through here see if there's anything I want to get rid of okay I'm gonna let this lip gloss go from MAC it's a little um, kind of like a mini size that I got in a, a Christmas calendar one year and again I really really like it it's in the shade um, oh doesn't have a shade on there that's weird just says lip gloss maybe that's because it came out of a Christmas calendar but um, I'm gonna let this one go because I have a lot of lip glosses to get through anyway and this one's just gonna be sitting there unused because I would rather use those ones so this one's gonna go so I think that's everything that I'm going to get rid of for today it's just a little mini declutter um, as I said to you before I don't have that much left that I really won't use so every little helps um, when it comes to minimising my makeup collection these days and I think it's nice to do it bit by bit every now and again so yeah I've got a few less products in my collection now which is great so really hope you enjoyed this video guys do let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you want to see from me this month I would love to hear your suggestions and I hope you're all doing really really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.